Hi, everyone. Great to be here today with you. My name is Maya Itkonen. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Onego Bio. Onego is a biotech company that is doing uh, egg white with precision fermentation. Egg is one of the wonders of, of this planet. It is such an amazing bundle of this perfect nutrition and great functionalities uh, in this very clever package that only Mother Nature knows how to design something like that. It's no wonder it's the most popular protein in the world and it's very difficult to replace with any alternatives. Just that this traditional way of producing eggs with uh, factory farming is both fragile and inefficient. And when I say fragile, I mean that it's very heavily affected by animal originated diseases such as bird flu, salmonella, and so on. And especially this year, the bird flu outbreak has been really bad. So tens of millions of birds have been killed because of that across the world. Many big businesses are, big companies are out of business and prices are increasing and so on. When I say inefficient, I mean that one bird can just give you six grams of protein per day. And believe me, people have really tried. So they have tried everything possible, but one bird just gives you six grams of protein per day. So therefore, we have found a way to produce the same bioidentical egg white with the, with the method that is both robust and efficient. So that's really great. And it's called precision fermentation. So when you have one piece of land to cultivate, you can grow something in there, such as grains or sugar beet or whatever. You can design to either give that to the, to the chickens or you can give it to the microbes. And the difference is really huge. So when you give it to the microbes, you can get as much as 10 times higher yields from that same piece of cultivated land. You wonder how is that possible? Well, we have this uh, a microorganism called the Trichoderma ricei. It's a filamentous fungus. We feed it in the, in the bioreactor. We give it uh, glucose and nutrients. And because it has been introduced, this DNA uh, from, the, from the chicken egg white, it knows uh, to, to start segregating the protein that, that we want instead of its own proteins. And then at the end of the pro uh, process, we have this bioreactor filled first with the cells to actual uh, fungus, and then we have water that has the protein dissolved in it. We filter away the, the cells, and then we start drying out uh, the, the water away from the protein, and we will get this bioalbumin uh, powder that is, that is having the same nutritional functionalities, same, uh, sa same uh, process functionalities, but comes with 90% lower environmental footprint, is not affected by animal diseases such as bird flu, and like I already told you, is even 10 times more efficient than the traditional way. And this whole thing is really, it's, it's a really nice, uh, holistically sustainable case. So uh, the trichoderma, yes, now we're giving it glucose, but it actually can eat like any kind of side stream that uh, contains carbohydrates, such as food industry side streams. And then at the same time, also the biomass, also the fungus itself is a valuable material. So you can utilize that for many, many other uh, purposes, such as making packaging materials, pet food, even mycelium leather can be made out of that. So the case is just a very nice holistic, holistic sustainable case. Okay, but the trichoderma is a very uh, special kind of uh, organism. So it was found at the uh, Solomon Islands during the World War II, when the American soldiers figured out that something is eating their clothes and their tents. And then they isolated that, they brought it back home, and the scientists figured out that it's a very special kind of fungus. It's a hungry fungus that has the ability to eat cellulose and, and produce enzymes in, 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 a, in, a, in a very big scale. So compared to these other common systems that are used in the precision fermentation, such as, for example, uh, yeast like Apicia pastoris, or, for example, uh, bacteria like E. coli, the main difference really is that Trichoderma is a really great producer. So it produces in very big scale, in, in very, very uh, like a high yields. But we really love this uh, metaphor from IKEA that when you design something, you really need to start from the price tag. You really need to know that you have the technology that has the ability to scale to the, to the, to the levels that you really need in order to produce something in an efficient and cost-effective cost way. 
And this trichoderma is very well proven by the pharma, textile, biofuel, food aid, etc. industries already uh, from centuries ago. The only thing is that it's very heavily protected, so it has very high IP protection around it. Only a few players are controlling it in the world. But we at Aneco, we are lucky enough to actually have access to that because of our home base, our origin, that is VTT, Technical Research Center in Finland. So at VTT, this technology has been studied for decades and, and years already. Uh, we are a spin-off uh, from VTT. My, background, my, my own background is that I'm a third-time founder. I have a strong experience in, in uh, alternative proteins and, and food tech. And Chris Landonski here, my co-founder, he's a trichoderma specialist who is the main inventor behind this technology that we are using. So we got this uh, uh, 10, 10 million euro seed round just uh, last February. And then on top of that, we have got 4.5 million euro grant. So we have got uh, together now 14.5 million euro funding, which is great because this biotech is super expensive. It's not something that you can just uh, do by like writing a piece of code, but you really need to work with real materials, real physical materials. Uh, what we are doing right now is that we are preparing for the novel food approvals. So we are starting first in the United States, where the regulatory app, like a landscape allows a faster market entry. And then now uh, preparing also for this A round, uh, a round uh, funding early next year. And then like going to the, to the go-to-market phases and uh, starting the work with the customers. So bioalbumin is the trade name for our product. This, this product that can be used in uh, all food processing just the same way as a traditional chicken-based egg white. It has the same functionalities, same nutritional capabilities, same or lower price, but it's totally animal-free. It's not affected by bird foods or other, other uh, diseases that are causing the price fluctuations, supply chain discontinuations, etc. And even on top of that, we have a technology that allows us to produce this great food with 9% lower environmental footprint. So thank you very much. Great to, great to be here, like I said. And uh, please come and visit our booth tomorrow. Uh, we, have a, we have a demo booth here. Uh, and uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions or give some thoughts if you have. Thank you.